Hello, welcome back to my channel where I'm currently creative Bible journaling. I am sharing with you one page from my flip through video that I did. The link is in the description if you wish to have a non-talking full video of the whole journal. The Bible verse here that I am focusing on says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. I have up here a heart that is completely black. This represents what my heart is like when I haven't come to God to keep a clean slate with him and confess all my sins, transgressions, iniquities, bad attitudes, etc. And I have down here some cleaning products. And here, as you can see, it says caution cleaning in process. And when we first acknowledge that we need to come to the Lord to be cleansed, the cleaning process begins. So the heart here is half black and half purple. Now, these cleaning products down here represent some of the things that we sometimes use to try and get ourselves right with God instead of doing the correct thing, which is going to him straight and not trying to work things out. So this bottle here of anti-back represents good works. And then I have some cream cleaner here. And this represents religious duties. And then here I have a bottle of wood polish and that represents talents and giftings and lastly here I have a bottle of washing up liquid which represents money and as we know none of these things can get us right with the Lord it doesn't matter if they're branded products. We have SIF, we have Pledge, we have Fairy Liquid. It doesn't matter, does it? But, of course, there is something that can clean our hearts for us. Make them nice and clean. And that is one more cleaning product which I have hidden in here. Here we have a symbol representing the cross of Jesus Christ and the blood, can you see that? It says the blood of Jesus. So when we use the right thing to clean our hearts, our hearts then become completely rid of all the yucky black that is on it. So I did this little page just to remind me that I need to regularly come to God to keep a clean slate with him but also that I shouldn't use the wrong things to try and win his favour no matter how inviting and acceptable those things seem to be they are not so I hope that encourages you and if you have done something similar or if this gives you an idea please share it with us in the comments box because it's great to share ideas and especially if there is a testimony around how we have learnt some truths from the Lord. I will be doing another video for you. In the meantime, I wish you a blessed day or a blessed night or evening and I will see you soon with another page. Take care until then. Bye-bye.